Hey guys, if you're in night one, and I'm talking about the EA Play event. Now, for those of you who don't know, that event just happened recently. They announced some new games. They announced stuff like their games are coming on Steam, like Titanfall 2 is already on Steam, and that's good to see that EA, despite having EA Origins, is actually pushing some of their games on Steam. And some of these games they showed were actually pretty interesting. One that looked good was Lost in Random, which looks kind of like Alice in Wonderland meets Nightmare Before Christmas. I also liked how they are bringing Apex Legends to Switch. It kind of shows that they're not completely ignoring the Switch. But one of the biggest things I liked about the EA Play event was that basically every game they announced that is multiplayer is going to be crossplay. And that's good. It kind of shows that crossplay is going to be the next systems kind of big thing. Like, because if we're getting a bunch of crossplay now, when the next systems, as in the PS5 and the Xbox Series X come out, we're probably going to get almost all online multiplayer games to be crossplay. And that's going to be really cool, I believe, to be able to play with your friends just no matter which of the systems you own. They did show some gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons, but I would rather them actually show like a game, not maybe not a, a full match game, but maybe like a three minute, four minute segment of them actually playing a game. Because what they did was they sh announced the modes and then they sh kind of talked about them. Like they showed dogfight and they showed fleet battles and they look pretty cool. But we didn't see how the games themselves actually work. We got more explained how the games themselves actually work while seeing some gameplay. And it's cool that the whole game is going to be VR. For a Star Wars pilot game, that is cool. To be able to play the whole game in VR, like the multiplayer, the single player, whatever, that's a pretty cool feature. Other than that, they had some other game announcements that I wasn't too interested in, but they ended it on a high note. Now, I'm not a fan of the Skate series myself, but I know a lot of fans have been waiting for the announcement of Skate 4. Now, they didn't say it was Skate 4, but they did say another Skate game is in development. Now, if I was a Skate fan, I'd probably be excited that at least we're getting more Skate. Even if it isn't Skate 4, even if it's like it's called Skate Paradise, kind of like Burnout or something like that, I would be excited probably that we're getting another Skate game. So all in all, the conference wasn't bad. It was actually had some good game announcements, and I really liked the focus on crossplay and the fact that some of their games are coming to Steam. But it just didn't feel like there was enough meat here. There also wasn't much heavy hitters other than like Star Wars Squadrons, which we already knew about. So it wasn't a bad conference. It wasn't a great one, but there was definitely some good announcements. Anyway, what did you guys think about the games announced at the EA Play event? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.